hey guys and welcome to my youtube channel i am amit and i hope you all are doing great and today in this video we will discuss an android interview question and as we know this video is a part of the series android interview questions and answers and you can find the playlist link in the description below so today the question is what is an inline function in kotlin and it is also one of the commonly asked questions during the android interview so now it's time to discuss the answer so the inline function instruct compiler to insert the complete body of the function wherever that function gets used in the code so let's try to understand this with an example suppose we have a function guide and also we have a function teach and from the guide function uh, we are printing something and then we are calling the teach function from the guide function and then we are printing something right as you can see here guide start call the teach function print guide end here both are normal function guide function calls the teach function so we haven't used inline keyword anywhere till now so now let's try to decompile the code in order to understand it so the steps are tool kotlin show kotlin bytecode and then we will have to click on the decompile button to get the java code from the bytecode After decompiling, we will get the following output. So it is as usual and it is as expected. Now let's add the inline keyword to the teach function. As you can see here, I have highlighted the inline keyword and I have added the inline keyword to the teach function. Now, same thing, the guide is calling the teach function and first it is printing the guide start then calling the teach function and then it is printing the guide end now let's follow the same steps and decompile the code so the decompiled code will look like this now this is something different here right as you can see here the complete block of code which was present in the teach function has been copied here so so basically we can see that code of the teach function is copied inside the guide function and the guide function is no more calling the teach function. This is because we have used the inline keyword. So the advantage of inline function is that the function call overhead doesn't occur and the less overhead and the faster program execution. So we must know when to make the function inline and when not. When the function code is very small, it's a good idea to make the function inline. But when the function code is large and called from so many places, it's a bad idea to make the function inline as the large code will be repeated again and again. So now we can take the decision when to make the function inline and when not. So now we also know the answer to the question, what is an inline function in Kotlin? And that's it for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. If you want me to create more videos on specific questions, let me know in the comment section. I'll be happy to do it. Have a great learning ahead. See you in the next video.